Hello, hello everybody. This is Paw Printis, Paw Print or Paw, whatever you prefer. Uh, here for episode three of Outer Wilds, Echoes of the Eye. I am really, really excited to get back into this to see what more this funky stranger has in store for us. But without further ado, let's get into the episode. Okay. Ha ha. I am a genius. <laughs> I am an excellent pilot. I don't even care. If it's not the thing that has the alarm on it, I could care less. Ooh. Okay, so I think I start from here. Cool. Nice. Kinda creepy. There's more candles in this one? Oh, this must be where they're from. Okay. I bet you there's another one in here. It's the same thing. Oh. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, you funky dude. Okay. So, in the last one, the Saturn was in this one. Now it's in this one. But I think everything else is the same. Okay. Where's my boat? Shoot, shoot. Shoot, I don't want to go up. I'll actually, no, I could go up. Up did not work. Now! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm okay, I'm fine. Are you... Okay, finally. Dang, that looks cool. Well, shoot. I would like to go over there. Now I know for sure that I can't get over there. But I mean, like, might as yeah no. First of all, this leads me absolutely nowhere. That kind of sucks. Second, the flood kind of happens early on, which is not good for me because I'm slow. Oh, that's strange. Shoot. That sucks. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to turn on the slideshow, like, PowerPoint presentation. I can't get to the cliffside building, and I'm slow. So the odds are not that greatly in my favor. Outer Wilds wants us, well, is like, okay, yeah, so you are gonna go to this and then go to here, but they're all different islands. And I like to finish one task before I start another. So I didn't go well with that. So I just completely explored like one island before I went to the next, which 
is not what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm really glad this thing doesn't have like a- Oh! I spoke too soon. Oh! Oh. Oh, that's upside down. Huh. Go, 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 go. Don't you dare break. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. What? No! No, I don't want to be on this side! Are you kidding me? I, I would rather die. I would really, really rather die. No, no. No. No, come back. I didn't mean it. I need you. No! Shoot. No! No! I really don't know where to go, because my one plan of action decided, okay, I'm gonna get you so diggity darn close, and I was literally, I was literally almost there! And then, here we are, folks, here we are. <laughs> okay, so they were here for the same reason that I want to work. Very, very interesting. Their design, it's more natural for like the insides because like the gnome may have it like very, very rigid. And this is like almost softer. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's new. I found a large metal symbol inside a burned out yeah. building that closely resembles the gnome symbol for the eye of the universe. But it's very interesting because were they both here to, dis to discover the eye? Who came here first? What it is, is this thing, the stranger, is on- is like over all of the orbits of the planets. Which I guess makes sense, cause who would ever- who would ever see that? Like, or like, look up and be like, oh look, like a minuscule halo, like, ring thing. How weird. Straight off, let's go. Wasting no time. The forces of bad luck and just bad luck will not get to me this time. Cause last time I was so close, I was literally right there. But no. It said no. Apart from that though, apart from my own troubles, I love the little details, like, the fact that the animators remembered the- uh, This is like, you have like a helmet on, so it shows like the little like water effects, and it's only whenever like a lot of water splashes, like that is just- Mmm, it's like, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love this game. If they built this, why do they have an excess amount of water? Or did the creators of Outer Wild just want to see us suffer? Because I'm really leaning towards the latter. Scary. Oh yeah, because they said like frightening scenes or something, right? I... I don't even... What do they mean, reduced frights? Please don't say it's jump scares. Why do they represent their... Okay, yes, that's just like an overview of the stranger. But it's signaling something, and why is 
this orb thing represented as like a vine. I don't like the look of this. Are they secretly evil? Because in Outer Wilds, spoiler alert, if you're still here but haven't watched or haven't watched or played Outer Wilds, I genuinely thought it was Zenome who like screwed up the sun. Like even after I went to the sun station, I was convinced it was still them. Like no doubt, like no doubt. But it wasn't, and it, it actually it took me a while to like accept that. Do I have to be in it? I don't want to be in it. Okay. Um. Oh, goodness. What? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 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 no. No, this is a different one. This is glass. No, it's not. That is not glass. If I go out there, I'm never coming back. So they're obviously more advanced than just a bunch of wooden huts. Oh. That makes sense. It's like an up and down, but weird. Oh yeah, that that is about to go to supernova. I'll just go do something stupid. I found a projection that shows the stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. Oh. How did they know the sun was gonna go supernova? Are they time travelers? In Outer Wilds, really anything is possible. So I'd say, I'd say, the Moose Men could be time travelers. They very, very much could be time travelers. They're still alive then. I don't know. These are all questions for another day, because yeah, I think I think the video should probably end now. <laughs> editing paw here, and you know the good thing about editing by your, like whenever you edit by yourself is that. You notice how dumb you are whenever you're editing. Before this video ends, I have to. I have to get to a couple of these things. And I finally, I finally figured out the HUD marker that the slate guy or whatever his name is talking about. So I went there and I'm now here, which I, I, I have found something. Obviously. It's pretty dang cool looking, if I gotta admit. What? Okay. So, while I was editing, I realized through a very idiotic portion of my own being, was that here, it's obviously much bigger, and there are lanterns here, because somehow I didn't get that before. I don't know how. And so I thought maybe if you take the right amount of lanterns, I don't know. I had this weird idea because there's lanterns and there's one of candles. So maybe if you put the same amount, they'll do something. Or if I like put them... I bet you there's gonna have to be something to do with the lanterns, but I'm not entirely sure what. Point proven! Uh... There you go, folks. There you go. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This is in the in the trailer. Yeah. 
It moves. Okay, I can burn. This is totally not creepy at all. Oh, wait, 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 there, ow, there's stars. That, yes, okay. On that weird thing, there were stars. That's creepy. I knew there were, uh, there were some of these lanterns. There are eight candles here, and there are eight lanterns here. Maybe I crammed them all. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Oh, uh, yep. I'm about to get slaughtered. Yes. Oh, there's more. I should have I should have started doing this in like the next episode. I did not know. Holy smokes. What the heck is this? Fun. This is weird. Our next item on the list is Cinder Isles, which we were just at, but they got destroyed, so I'm gonna go there again. And I noticed that I, I literally said, I think I visited everything there, when literally there was a glowing, like, building with a bunch of, like, lanterns on it that I've never been in, and I'm like, wow. Yep, right there. Never saw it before. Don't know how. Okay, yeah, there has to be something up there. It's it's so tall. There cannot be there cannot not be something there. Oh. That's good for me. Nope. 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 I just found something, buddy. You're not gonna do this to me. You are not gonna do that to me. Ah, oh, this is very vertigo inducing. Where? What is up? Which way is up? What? <laughs> What is new? Submerged structure. A large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below. There is a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside the structure. Sealed vault. I found a strange vault wrapped in chains and marked with three glowing symbols. That I did. Alrighty, buckaroo. All right, so any of those with the Saturn move back. Very interesting. And this is the exact same thing. Oh, that's not good. One of them's gone. Okay. Oh, it's an entryway. Yep. There it is. There it is. How did I miss this? Dang. This is cool. This is about to get flooded. This is just creepy. Oh, it brings me to the top.
Oh, oh, it teleports you. It teleports you, doesn't it? It's the three of them. They do something weird. I don't have time for that right now. I gotta do other stuff. What the heck is this? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's the eye. Oh my goodness. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I get it. Speed, 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 speed. Come on, come on, come on. Don't flood, don't flood, don't flood, don't flood. Come on, you short thing. Okay. Okay, so their home planet, the eye, that starfire thing, and then that weird thing. Okay, so they saw the eye. Three cool looking. Okay. <laughs> this moose man really went, okay, I'm gonna scan the eye. Okay. Oh, they look like owls. That's actually quite cool. So he's basically saying, don't touch it. Kids, don't touch the eye. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he had a vision. He's so sad. Oh. Oh, okay. I like these dudes. He's to worship the eye, just like the Nome. Oh, it's coming to destroy the eye, that's what it's doing. So that's it cloaking itself. Okay. Dang! And look at that. The wonderful flood stopped for me to read that amazing presentation. And then we get to whatever the heck this is. He's locking away something. He used the fire to seal it. You can probably use fire to take it away. Tree.
I bet you they were scared. They were scared they were going to find the eye and destroy the universe, so they all locked themselves away. Alright. That's kind of sad, honestly. Oh, that was close. I just want to see it, okay? Is that too much to ask? See, what the heck is this? What the heck the heck is this? I've never been here before. This is wonderful. What is it? Everyone has the fire, so if I have to turn off all the fire. <laughs> yeah, for just a little bit of let's go see what I missed because I'm an idiot. Um, turned into like another episode. So, sorry about that. Genius. Geniuses. Geniusness of the strangest kind, but I love it. We'll figure these questions out in another video. Yeah. I should probably eat. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> you, if y'all haven't eaten or drank anything in a while, you should probably do that too. Hydration and sustenance is, is very, very useful. But yeah, thank you so much for watching episode three. And yeah. Hope you find this enjoying and <laughs> um, fun to watch. There we go. Until next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.